Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So, I have my wax melt empties right here. Ooh, there's so many. Um, I'm going to try not to take the longest time on them because I don't have a ton of storage in my phone. So, I'm going to try to go through these quite quickly. And then if I have time at the end, I will go through my candle empties as well. So, First thing we have is Rainbow Melts Christmas Calories, Vanilla Wafers, Vanilla Butter Fudge, and Brown Sugar Pecan. This was a good bakery scent. I might pick it back up. Um, it was good. Rainbow Melts always throws pretty well in my house, probably a four out of five most days. So um, we have Christmas Calories Don't Count Sugar Cookie, or I'm sorry, Snickerdoodle Sugar Cookie Cake Batter Ice Cream from Wicked Essence. This did smell really yummy. And this also threw maybe a three and a half out of five for me in my living room. I kind of mixed those two together, like in the house. So they kind of, I don't know, mixed together. <laughs> we have Christmas cookie butter from Super Tarts. I was actually pretty disappointed with this scent. Um, it probably threw a three out of five, but I don't know. I just didn't really smell what I thought I would smell. It was... Kind of like maple butter more to me. Um, I wish it was something different. So because of that, I probably wouldn't repurchase it. We have Woof Wix Krampus. This is blue cotton candy, laundry, eucalyptus, spearmint, cherry, and sugared spruce. This was incredible. Threw about a four out of five. This was so good. It's a sweet, fruity laundry scent with that little bit of eucalyptus and sugared spruce. It was really, really nice. I loved it. Okay, we have Northern Lights from Sensationals. I kept using this in my bathroom and probably not a great idea because I couldn't really smell it, so would not repurchase. Oh, that one is not empty. We have Cindy Lou Who from The Bathing Garden. You guys, this is my all-time favorite scent from The Bathing Garden. I love it. It's like lavender and lilac and... It's like sweet cotton candy. It is freaking delicious. I think I have two more small clamshells and one big clamshell left of it. So good. I love it so much. Okay. We have Snickerdoodle Pretzel from Scented Squirrel. This threw okay for me. Not incredibly strong. It was good, but probably not a repurchase from me. I think it needed something a little bit more sweet. It was pretty, ooh, it was pretty savory, so... All right, we have Love Fat Wax and Blueberry Fizzy Pop. This threw really well. I loved this. This is really good. I think I like blueberry, especially with the Fizzy Pop, because, like, the lime, the lemon lime kind of, like, cuts the sweetness a little bit, but it was still incredible. It was really good. Fall Naps from Zape. Flannel Sheets, Autumn Leaves, and Fall Breeze. This was pretty. I definitely liked it um, in the bedroom for the first few hours. As it kind of got to warming, maybe it wasn't my favorite scent. It became a little bit more astringent. Like it lost a little bit of that like that like sweetness and like fruitiness that it kind of had. So I did like it in the beginning and it was nice to try. Um, Bunny's Laundry Day from Nana Makes Sense. Black Raspberry and Vanilla Clean Cotton Pink Sugar. I did enjoy this blend. It wasn't incredibly strong. I used that in my bathroom. Buttermint Peppermint from L3. Um, this was so good. I definitely love this scent and would repurchase it, and it threw really well in my house. Mystique from Super Tarts Pink Sugar Shaving Cream. This threw about a three and a half out of five, maybe four. It was kind of on the lighter side. I did notice it was a little bit lighter, uh, but this smells incredible. Definitely a repurchase for me, and I would get probably a BAM bag in that. Oh Fudge from the Candle Daddy. Um, I usually like chocolate scents. I did not like this chocolate scent. So that would not be a repurchase for me. The Burning Mitten in Feast Mode. This is Toasted Marshmallow, Cinnamon Donut, Cider Lane, and Sugar Cookie. This threw about a three and a half out of five. Um, it was very Cider Lane, um, but I feel like that's kind of how Cider Lane is. It becomes extremely caramely sweet almost makes me sick to my stomach so I'm I'm kind of undecided after this season if cider lane is for me I think if it's cut down a lot I like it but if it takes over the blend in the house I just I don't think it's my thing we have Christmas blast from Woof Wix, icy peppermint pine trees and cherries um, this one's interesting 
it's good. However, I think that it was just too much for me. Like it was very, very strong. So probably not a repurchase, but definitely a fun one to try. Milk was a bad choice by the Burning Mitten. And this is vanilla ice cream, whipped cream, vanilla bean, Noel, sugar milk, and marshmallow fluff. Yeah, this is a good scent. Um, definitely smells like sugar milk. So if you don't like sugar milk, you probably won't like that. But I did enjoy it. So I possibly would pick that one back up. I mean, not, not like anytime soon, though. Bedtime Bear from the Scented Squirrel. Bedtime Bath and Fluffy Towels. This was beautiful. I put this in the bedroom and... Yeah, I loved this scent. I definitely would purchase this in a bigger quantity. Okay, we have Barbershop. Oh, wait. Let me see if I can grab. Do, do, do. I did these kind of like all together. And I think that was all of them. Okay. So I did like all these samples of Lord of Misrule. The first one was K Scented Melts. So I don't really have um, a distinguishable like opinion on each vendor, but I will say that these all smelled really good. So Lord of Miss Rule from um, K Scented Melts, Lord of Miss Rule from Closet Full of Wax, and then I did Lord of Miss Rule Magic and Mischief in Sugar Milk in the kitchen, and then Barbershop Lord of Miss Rule and Pink Sugar by the front door. Okay, I will see that these were incredible. I love these, and I actually probably should, I think I did take a picture on my Instagram, but Definitely make sure to remember these because it was so freaking good. I love Lord of Misrule now, and my friend Farron sent me these, so thank you so much, Farron. And she actually sent me a surprise box as well that had us a ton of Lord of Misrule in it. And I'm so excited because I didn't have Lord of Misrule before. I didn't even know I liked it. So I'm really excited that I ended up um, putting these all in and figuring out that I liked it and... I have so many fun blends to try, you guys, so I can't wait for that. Okay, we gotta go fast because I only have like seven minutes left. Black Christmas from Vintage Chic, Buttermint, Vanilla Bean Noel, and Fireside. This one was good. I did not get Fireside, so probably not a repurchase. Sassy Wax Melts in Milk and Cookies for Santa. Frosted Sugar Cookies, Sugar Cookie Dough, and Sugar Milk. This took on a different scent that was like in the bin with it, so I couldn't really have an opinion on it, so not a repurchase. Pink Tails from Nanomatic Scents. No idea what it is, and I didn't get a throw. Sassy Wax Melts in... Oh, another Milk and Cookies. We have Pink Lemon Cotton Candy from Rose Girls. This was really good. I just melted this last night. Um, I did one cube in the beginning of the week in the bathroom, but I couldn't really smell it, and then I put this in the um, living room last night. It was really, really good. I loved it, and I would repurchase that scent. Cookie Dough Noel from Ava's Country Cupboard. Incredible vanilla bakery scent. I love this. I definitely would repurchase this. And it throws um, about a four out of five. Pumpkin Seed Wax and Bath Co. and Twinkling Lights. Sugar Cookie and Christmas Tree Molasses. This was really pretty. Um, I definitely want to try more from this company. Um, so thank you, Danny, for sending this my way for me to try. I did enjoy it. Christmas Morning from Wicked Essence. This is cinnamon rolls, cream cheese frosting, sugared cronuts, and cappuccino brulee. I don't think I got a ton of cappuccino brulee in that. I have more of this, so I'm going to try it again. Um, Milk and Cookies for Santa from Salt Mountain Melts. I thought I was going to love this one, you guys. This is eggnog, Mrs. Claus cookies, and sugar cookies on... Um, cold. It was the best eggnog scent that I've ever smelled. And it was pretty good for the first couple hours. After it had been melting for those couple hours, it started getting this like really like burnt heavy spice scent. Not here for it. So I'm so glad I didn't search this one out and get more because I did not end up liking it. Um, warm apple pie from Sassy Wax Melts. Baked apples, pie crust, buttery caramel, and a hint of almond. This was gorgeous. It was like this big piece of like pie had like whipped cream on it and like little apple decor it was really cute it was a nice scent but it wasn't exactly like a baked apple pie for me it threw well though I will say it threw pretty well in the house probably about three and a half out of five um but it smelled more craft store apple than it did baked apple so okay that's a candle. <laughs> we have Sleigh Bells Ring from Sassy Girl Aroma. I'm pretty sure this is like a pine sugar cookie that I mixed with something else in the bedroom. It was nice. We have Buttermint and Vanilla Wafers from the Scented Squirrel. And this one was good. 
Um, it was very, very light though. So for that reason, I probably wouldn't repurchase it. Okay. We're going through these four minutes. Okay. Love Fat Wax, Christmas Tree, Marshmallow Fireside, and Winter Wonderland. I hated this scent. I hated it. I'm so sorry. I just, I really disliked it. My friend, um, Danny sent this to me and I couldn't do it. And I figured out is because the, um, Winter Wonderland has orange in it. I had to toss it out. It was really gross to me. Ava's Country Cupboard, Pumpkin Cheesecake, Sugar Milk, Funnel Cake. This was nice. I actually ended up putting that in the bathroom because I ran out of melts for that day. Case of the Mondays from the Melted Mousse, Salted Caramel Zucchini Bread, and a Strong Cup of Coffee. This is a good um, coffee scent. Heavy bakery. Um, I liked it, especially, I liked it more when I first bought it. The second go around, it wasn't quite as strong, so not sure if it's a repurchase for me. This one's really good. Savannah Blue Christmas Mittens. Frosted Cupcakes with Cassis. Red Currant, Strawberry Peppermint, Cherry Almond, and a Hint of Citrus. I already repurchased this. It was so good. Pumpkin Honey Chai from Ava's Country Cupboard. I just don't think I'm like huge on these like spicy scents, which I, I don't know why. I guess it depends on the type of spice, but this was okay. Not a repurchase for me. Coffee Cake from The Pharmacist's Daughter. Coffee House Pumpkin Pecan Waffles Creme Brulee and Vanilla Pound Cake. This one was good. I did enjoy it. I wish the Pumpkin Pecan Waffles was a little bit stronger. Um, probably not a repurchase. Here's another one of that Love Fat Wax one that I just hated. Candy Cane and Cupcakes at Tiffany's from Nana Makes Sense. Couldn't really smell it. Putting on the Ritz from L3. Sugared Shortbread Crunchy Peanut Butter Strawberry Jam and Toasted Mallow. This one was good, although it was very heavy strawberry jam. I wish the peanut butter had come out more. Palo Express from Nana Makes Sense. I love this scent. It was a custom that I made. It's Palo Santo and Vanilla Bean Noel and coffee, I think. Saucy Santa from Savannah Blue, Vanilla Bourbon Pipe Smoke, and Sugar Cookie. I actually ended up really liking this one. I didn't think I was going to. Golden Willow Waxes Alpine Hike, Doug Fur, Sun on the Snow, Peppermint Ice. This one was kind of light. I don't even know who that company is or if they still exist. Teddy Bee's Christmas Macchiato, Fresh Pine Buttercream, Vanilla Waffle Cone Espresso, and Vanilla Ice Cream. Um, this one was okay. It wasn't terrible. Um, definitely more pine buttercream than it was macchiato. North Pole from Wicked Essence, which is Cool Vanilla Mint. This was super good. I love that, and I'm glad I have more. Also super good, Rosemary Mint Cotton Candy Craze from L3. Incredible. Elf Treats from Simo. I don't even know what that is, and I don't think it through. Lipstick and Leopard, Leopard Print from Cypress Ridge. Ice Cherries, Pink Moscato, and Velvet Sugar. This one was good. Um, I don't think I'd repurchase. Oh, no, they're not even open anymore. Um, I think I need to create more space on my phone because I'm not going to get through these. Long Winter's Nap, Lavender, Vanilla, Marshmallow, Fluff, and Sweet Snow from Wicked Essence. I love this scent. It's so good. I don't know what it is. It's incredible. This is like, this isn't my soul. I have so many of these. Peppermint Mocha Sugar Cookies from Teddy Bee's. Espresso Steamed Milk Chocolate Mocha Peppermint and Frosted Sugar Cookies. Um, I definitely like this scent, but... I don't know if I'd repurchase it. I think I have a bag of it now, but that's all that I have left. Frosted Mint Circus Cookies from Teddy Bee's. Sweet Sugar Buttery Shortbread Buttercream Frosting Vanilla Sugar Cookie Dough. The mint in this is kind of like non-existent. I got this back in March and I melted it like within a month probably and didn't get the mint and I still don't get the mint. So it's kind of unfortunate. It's a nice, it's a nice scent, but it's not minty enough for me. Christmas Blizzard from Simo. Um, I don't know what the scent notes are in this one. I don't even really remember what it smelled like. Simo just hasn't really been throwing for me for the most part, so that's not a repurchase. Um, Winter Snooze from L3. I love this scent. It's so good. Um, I highly recommend. I think it has chamomile in it, and it's it's pretty. It's, it's definitely a nighttime blend, and I melted this when... Okay. I don't know where that cut me off, but... I was saying that um, winter snooze, I had melted this um, when it was just starting to snow at the house, and it was like perfect. It was just like, it was meant to be. It smells so good. I think I have a scoop of all of it, and I think I might have another pack of bunt bunts in it, so highly recommend that one. I know she just offered that one in her um, pre-order. Was it her pre-order? The last one? I'm not sure. Anyways, very good. 
Um, one that I absolutely love from um, Soul's Inspiration is Pink Sugar. Um, her Pink Sugar is absolutely one of my ride or die favorite Pink Sugars. Really good. I need to see what's going on with um, Soul's Inspiration. I haven't really heard much from her lately, so I'm not sure if she was just taking a, like, a holiday break or um, what, but I want to go on her website and see what else is going on there. Okay, we have Rainbow Melts in Casper, Vanilla Bean, Marshmallow, Vanilla Ice Cream, and Spearmint. Definitely a spearminty scent, but I really liked it. Um, I like spearmint and witcher green, and anything that reminds me of toothpaste or gum doesn't, like, bother me at all. Um, this one was really good from Lured Apothecary, Sugar Plum Fairy, Pear, Vanilla, Sponge Sugar, and a Hint of Cherry. This was, like, a big, uh, juicy cup of juice, I guess. It kind of smells like Snow Fairy like from Lush. I don't know if it is or not, but it's incredible. I think I still have one bar left of this, so very excited for that. Okay, that's all the wax melts. There was more in that um, than I thought there was, <laughs> so that's hence why we ran out of time and had to start another video. So I just have some candles to go over with you guys. Um, we have some from Goose Creek. The first is in Buttered Blondie. And I burned this until it wouldn't burn anymore. Um, it smells like sooty, like smoky now. Um, I would put this in the crock, but it's just not worth my time. Um, it was good for ambiance, but you couldn't really smell it. And then same thing for this um, one from Goose Creek in Marshmallow Sugar. So burned it till it wouldn't burn anymore. I actually didn't have any trouble with the soot. Look at that. I mean, it's not clean, like, by any means, as far as, like, the gunk on the side, but, like, that's like, pretty incredible because I feel like all small candles always soot, and this didn't, so good for ambiance. And then we did French Baguette. I'm actually disappointed how much wax is left in this one from Bath & Body Works. Like, I feel like that's, like, a good chunk. Like, I feel like it should have burned down further. I can still smell it in here. I could pop this one in the crock, I guess, and get that last bit of scent out of there. I just feel like if they're only going to fill it up to here and, like, they're going to leave this much wax at the bottom, I don't know. I mean, I can already see the wick clip, and it's like, I just, maybe the wick clip, sh cl wick clip should be shorter. I don't know what happened, but um, I really love French Baguette from Bath & Body Works. It's so good. And looks like I got a pretty clean burn on this too. I trim all my wicks also before each burn if they need it. Um, as far as like having um, mushroom tops on them and stuff. Um, let's talk about a terrible burn. Um, I got this one 20, 2020. I think this is Sugar Cookie from Scentworks. Um, I got this at Kohl's. So I burned this last year and it started to soot really bad. And I was like, oh, I'm just going to put it in the crock pot. But it actually doesn't fit in the crock pot. Look at this candle. It's disgusting. I burned it again. And this is what it started doing. It soots like crazy. It leaves all this like nastiness in the wax. And it smells like that too. I was burning this and I was like, no, I'm just going to keep trying. My boyfriend walked in the house. He's all, what's burning? And it was this candle. So I'm like, I'm not even going to fuss with this anymore. It smells like the wax is like tainted. So this one's going bye-bye. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. <laughs> a scent, uh, a candle that I really loved was Vanilla Pumpkin. And this is from Threshold from Target. This is so good. It's not spicy pumpkin. It's like heavy, like buttercream, but like, it's like kind of fall, like, like a pumpkin pie without like all the spice. Oh, it was so good. And it burned incredibly well. That's probably just like lighter marks on the inside. It, it was incredible. It was really good. There's a buggy friend in there as well. Um, I would recommend not leaving the lids next to your stove when you turn the oven on because it melted but um yeah so happy about the threshold brand and then last candle that I finished was brown sugar churros from Goose Creek um I loved this candle I burned it and it started to smell kind of like that sooty kind of scent so I popped it in the crock pot and um it's the scent is so good I don't know if I repurchase it because I'm having such trouble with um the the sootiness of the big one so 
anyways, I put it in the crock pot and it did really well. So that's probably where I'm going to end up. I'm probably going to end up crocking all my goose, goose, creek, goose creek candles that are the large ones. Um, they did really well until about the halfway point And I was like, ah, so it starts to smell kind of smoky. I know you can't see it, but I don't know. It just started smelling weird. So anyways, guys, that is my entire wax melt candle empties. Um, it was a lot to go through. I didn't realize it was going to be that long. So I apologize. Thank you for sticking with me. I know I talk super fast. Um, it's a, it's definitely a problem that I've had since like second grade. <laughs> so, all right, guys, I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day and we will talk again soon. All right. Bye.